Radio. So here we go. Hang on, hang on. Let me turn the tunes down. How do we do that? It's all high tech. Radio, sweet as bro. So it is 12:30 on the 23rd of the 11th, 2017, and. Uh, I'm about to hit the road, third time lucky. I've got my uh, super cool granddad sonnies on, which uh, you're probably gonna see a hell of a lot of, and uh, I understand that you'll probably want them, but you have to wait until I die because I'm not giving them away. And uh, that's just life, isn't it, eh? Now, don't expect this to be uh, too much of a serious uh, video series. I've watched a few of uh, guys um, and women doing, uh, you know, their bike rides and uh, doing their vlogging and that. And uh, yes, it gets very serious. And uh, now, today I, I have to do uh, 945 kilometres. And if I don't do that, I'm screwed because I've only got three days to get across America, for instance. I won't be like that, trust me. I'll be doing 9.45 Ks and uh, sitting down and have a rest. Both getting old. Radio, so. Life's pretty sweet. Uh, here we go, I'll spin it around. So as you can see, we're fully packed, got everything on there. And uh, yeah, you can see the detail in that, can't you? Where everything is and how well it's packed. Excellent, moving on. Moving right around, pumped all my tires up. I've been on doing a bit on the dirt just recently, testing it out. Um, so I've got four batteries in total, three spares. Um, I've shifted a shitload of weight, 23 kilos actually, off the trailer onto the back of the bike, which I'm uh, super happy about. And the bike seems to be doing all right. It's, yeah, it squirrels around a little bit. It's not built for this sort of shit, but hey, let's give it a go anyway. Um, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get a long tail cargo bike. I'll put a deposit on one actually. A uh, big fat dummy it's called. You can all look that up on the web. You're all quite capable of doing that sort of shit. Got my camera up out there, on board, ready to go. Got me tucker in there. I've got a little, tiny little generator out there. I'll go through that crap later. And yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna do a ride to um, down to the southwest, there's a uh, very high likelihood of a rather well paid job coming up in the end of January, early February. So, what that means is reality in reality is I might get started in March. And uh, who gives a shit? I'll be riding around on my bicycle, so I don't care. Now, I haven't worked out the angle to put this thing yet, so I'm just going to take a punt and say it's there. Looks cool, eh? Rightio, that's about it. Pretty happy. The uh, locusts are on the move. There's trillions of the little bastards. And uh, I'm about to join them. We're all migrating. Okay, no worries. Catch you on the flip side. Bye. That's it. I'm on the road. Third time lucky. Let's see how it happens. Get myself organised here. Radio. Well, bonus is I've got a an easterly wind, so that's pretty good. Not sure of the time. 101, so one o'clock when we rode out. That's pretty good. Pretty happy with that. So today, if I just do 20 k's, 30 k's, I don't really mind. That's good enough for today. I just wanted to uh, get out the house and get on the road today, to be honest with you. And uh, that I have. So I'm pretty chirpy about that. No doubt you'll uh, see the occasional grasshopper bombing me. They're out in their trillions at the moment. They quieten down about this time, probably from 11 o'clock through to about 1ish, 
they get pretty horrendous they're all heading south it appears going south for the winter or the summer can't blame them First couple of days, I'm not pushing things. A little bit of a sore right knee. I'm hoping that sort of comes good. I've been giving that a bit of rest, so hope it comes good. And uh, I'll do, yeah, as I say, 20 or 30 k's today, and maybe tomorrow 40 k's, 50 k's, maybe. I don't know. Honestly, I'll see how things go really not in a hurry so life is sweet got me bone induction Wi-Fi wireless speakers going music in my head ears are uncovered works fab only thing is the other three voices in my head though they're not very happy with my choice of music at the moment, but too bad. Cruising, 45k an hour down the hill. Not turning a pedal. Absolutely cruising. 50k an hour, not bad, eh? this speed I'll be in Perth in bloody six hours the old um, bone induction speakers they're bloody good actually because like I was whistling down that hill at 50 odd k an hour and uh, you know I got the wind noise you don't have to touch the volume on the on the um, speakers on the for the tunes. It just keeps blatting away. Same old volume. You can hear it nice and easily. I reckon they're going to work out really well. I'm probably going to run on tour, which is the second power assist level for the first I don't know maybe a week or so till I get a little bit fitter and um, I'm hoping then that I'll be able to back it off to um, EK then and which will increase the uh, increase the range shitloads because I'm on tour now, I've got 32, I've got four out of five bars on the battery. I've got 32 Ks supposedly left in the battery, which is probably right in this flat country, but if I knock it down to Eco, that bumps up to 63. And uh, I mean, at the moment I'm cruising at 28 K an hour, so I don't get any pedal assist anyway. Pedal assist cuts out at 25 Ks an hour but with this little bit of breeze assist I've got. I'm cruising, man, cruising. 28k an hour, 30k an hour, a little bit of a decline. Sweet as, bro. I've got my own group of fans flying along beside me. Hey, I can, I can understand it, I can understand it. I'm thinking I might do two days and then uh, maybe have a bit of a rest. Um, that's often what I do when I start a tour. Because I don't train. I have got time for that shit, man. And um, I have been riding the bike a little bit, so hopefully I'll uh, be reasonably 
reasonable. But often, as I say, do two days and then um, have a day off, then do three days, have a day off, then do four days, have a day off. And often by that stage, I'm a bit in the groove of things and I'm pretty sweet. I just go until I need a day off then, which sometimes can be weeks. Other times it's, uh, yeah, might only be another week or so and then I need another break. What temp are we looking at? 30.4 degrees. Rightio. Let me take the shit out of my mouth. Rightio, yeah, the GH force chucked a spaz attack, so I'll just uh, get a little bit of the surrounds and the the GoPro. Not much good for this large Vista shit, but hey, we'll do it anyway. Rightio. So as you can see, we're riding through some spectacular country, clad with green forests, large mountains, ice capped peaks, all the usual boring sort of shit. And, uh, oh look, there's a tree. Fuck me dead. And, uh, got somebody coming towards us. That's pretty unusual. I haven't seen anybody. Oh, I think I've seen one car. That's it. Probably be coming this way. There he is. Here we go. First corner. Yippee. Been off the bike for a couple of weeks. My legs are feeling it already. I don't know how many Ks I've done, but not a hell of a lot. See the odd straggling uh, locust flying around. Sometimes you come through these little bunches. I guess they're all migrating and they'll, uh, they'll swarm up and then take off to wherever it is they're taking off to. You can see them up ahead. Got a few here. They make a mess of the front of the car when you go through these bunches. I don't know what that was. Just had a little bit of a break and um, went to pull away and the gears felt a little bit odd. So as you can see here, it's come away from there. And I had a quick look down here. I haven't taken any of the shit off yet, but you can see that that cable there has come out. So I have to have a bit of a captain cook at that, see what the go is. Hopefully it's nothing too serious. I shall report back in, uh, well, whatever it takes to fix it. 15 or 20. Two hours, maybe. I don't know. We'll find out, won't we? Okay. Catch ya. Looks like it might be a reasonably easy fix. The, um, as you can see, I've taken off the pannier and the batteries off the top, which is a piece of cake. Has this little silver thing and at the very end i don't know if you can see in there it has a little grub screw and obviously that grub screw is loose and it's just simply pulled out so the end's a little frayed but i think i can probably i can probably um just twist that and then put it all back together hopefully one of my small allen keys will fit it otherwise i'm a little bit screwed
Good. Hey, once again, we'll report back. Well, I'll report back. Radio. That's that all back together, as you can see. Um, I actually don't really know how you adjust these things. I've got no idea, to be quite honest with you. So I've done what I thought is right, and I guess the only way to uh, to find out is give it a bit of a spin, eh? So that's what I'm going to do. I think it should be okay. I just don't know how much tail should be poking through the end of that little silvery thingy bit I showed you. And uh, I don't really care, as long as it works. Who really gives a shit? So, if it doesn't work, I'll give a shit. But if it does, I'll be on my merry way. I actually was going to camp here, and because it's it's got um, reasonable internet connection, but bloody hell, it's got, uh, what have we got? One, two, three, nearly four hours of sunlight left, so, um, I thought, ah, oh, bugger it, might as well keep going. I've done 27 Ks so far, and, um, oh, just keep going, I'm feeling pretty good, so, I'll just do another, I don't know, maybe I'll knock over two hours, eh, or something like that. And then um, take stock of things then. See what the deal is. If I can find myself a nice little spot to camp. So it's 3.28, I think, I don't know. I don't even know what time I stopped to fix that bloody thing. Anyway, took me a few minutes, eh. Really in the scheme of things, took me no time at all. Sweet as bro, radio, catch ya. Right, that seems to have worked. Nothing like uh, break down on the side of the road on get you to learn your gear, is there? Should be all right. I've just oh bloody hell! I think I've got a stone in me foot now. Me bloody sandal, bastard. Pain in the ass. Well, it's actually not. It's a pain in the foot, to be honest with you. Oh yeah, I'm gonna pull up and fix that. My foot, I'll chop my foot off that way. I won't, won't have the reoccurring problem, will I? See ya. Radio. Just gonna knock off a um, a quick log for day one. Um, everything went quite well. Had that little issue, but yeah, haven't had any problems. Repaired that. Um, I've got to keep moving because there's actually quite a few ticks here. Bastards are chasing me. And um, after that, in total I did uh, 40, 47 kilometres and I've just camped in a little bit of bush, as you can see, do a little bit of a, um, bit of a pan here like this, round, okay, and yeah, so I'm pretty pleased, I was pretty knackered when I got here. Um, I, I hadn't planned, as I said earlier this morning, I hadn't planned on actually doing uh, that many kilometres today, but one thing and another, it was quite warm. Moving through the wheat belt's a bit of an issue for shade, and um, I thought, well, I might as well keep going. I sort of could see this little spot on the map, and I had some good signal, so I Google Earthed it, and it's, yeah, it's quite a nice little area apart from the mosquitoes and the ticks and the flies but the bird life's nice which is uh, which is a bonus and i'll be in the tent so the ticks and the flies won't bloody bother me neither will the mozzies so up them um yeah all in all a good day quite pleased quite relaxed i don't i don't intend to uh kill myself on this trip as I get further south, I'm hoping to be able to stop and take a lot more photos and, and even in some spots, maybe um, maybe um, stay for a day or two and uh, yeah, just chill out basically. Bloody mosquitoes, bastards. It's hundreds of little friggers, I tell you. Um, I suppose I could put a long sleeve shirt on, couldn't I? That'd be using me brain though, wouldn't it? 
And yeah, all in all, very good. I'm going to sleep well, I'm pretty sure of that. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm feeling it. And be interesting to see tomorrow if I feel it. I think, I think I'm going to feel it in my bum more than anything. Because um, it's been a couple of weeks since I've been on the bike. So, as we all possibly know, I don't know if some of us do, some of us don't. When you, when you start touring, it's uh, often your bum that um, suffers the most for the first few days. If one was doing it correctly, one would do 20 minutes a day for 30 odd days and then not suffer. But hey, doing it correct's no fun, is it? Rightio, that's about it. We'll uh, we'll chat later. Maybe tomorrow. You never know. That's day one over. Well, not yet. We've got to go to sleep yet, don't I? But day one's riding over. Okay, see ya. <laughs>